What's up guys, Scott from Axe Overland. So today I'm at Cross Chrysler Jeep Fiat and uh, I'm looking at a new Wrangler. So this isn't it. This is a uh, this is a Gladiator. It looks really good though, to be honest. And it's the AEV version, so the American Exhibition Vehicles. And you know I love their stuff. So I've got the lift and the wheels and everything on my Axe Bomb back in the UK. But today is not about that. It's about ordering a new Rubicon. Leaning towards Sarge Green, but we'll see what they got. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to order it, but either way, I can wait. I'm not in a hurry, and this is gonna be a Jeep that I plan on keeping for a really, really, really long time. So I wanna make sure I get what I want. Uh, I've already been inside and talked to them a little bit. I'm really early because I wanted to get down here and do some video and show you how many Jeeps they got. It's ridiculous. It's like Jeeps everywhere. Our gladiators pulling right in right now. There's gladiators parked all over the place. There's Wrangler uh, Rubicon Unlimiteds and regular two doors all over. It's just awesome. So really looking forward to today, sitting down and discussing what I want in the Jeep and getting it ordered and seeing how long it's going to take to get it here. Um, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to have to make a trip back to the States in a month or so, probably January actually, to pick it up, but it's going to be worth it. So right now I'm looking at completely stock uh, Rubicon, so I guess it's not really stock, but it's a Rubicon, so lockers, uh, and it's got the uh, disconnecting sway bar, all that stuff. But you'll see, when I do the whole list, I'll uh, come back and let you know what I went with and how long it's going to take to get here. So again, really excited to be here today, here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky and just happy to be in the states again man i'm loving this stuff um and i've got so many plans for the new rubicon or the axicon as i'm going to call it so stay tuned to see where we go all right so here's an update so we found out there might actually be a diesel one uh, in Indiana that we can, might be able to pull over here so I could have it quicker than ordering it. The only thing that I'm lacking is the one I wanted had a front facing camera so I'll have to live without that. But with the taser system and stuff after speaking with Alex at Buzz Special Vehicles it's something that I may end up adding later with a better system anyway so it might not be a bad call. I'm not compromising it's just that front camera is something that's cool but it's like 700 bucks and also you don't really need it but it'd be nice to have and it's something I can add later so I'll get the Jeep cheaper obviously it's already here ready to go and I can have it as soon as I pay for it so my bank uh, over in the UK if I go with them they're gonna have to send the check here to be a couple weeks uh, but if I go through their financing obviously I could do it all right now so a lot of stuff's up in the air right now We've, we're talking about the financing part we're talking about trying to get that Jeep from the other dealership. They have to approve that, or the other dealership has to approve that with them so they can bring the Jeep over here. But I'm going with Sarge Green, 100%. Uh, and they're going with leather interior, the brown leather, because that changes the dash color. And usually not a brown leather guy, but after looking at one of the other ones, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, it looks good. I really like it. Alex, that's good suggestions, bro. I appreciate it. And it does make sense. It looks good. So we'll see where that goes, but right now I'm on hold, just waiting to find out about the financing part being here, about possibly getting the Jeep from another place and bring it straight here so I don't have to order it. Uh, so either way, I don't know, we may have a Jeep a lot sooner than I was expecting. Uh, if I have to order it, like I said, six to eight weeks, if they can get it from the other dealership, I don't know what the processing time is, but it's about two hours away. Uh, it may take a week or so to do all the paperwork and get it all shipped over, however they're going to do it, I don't know, uh, but that'll be on them, but we'll see. So I'm on hold right now for finding out where I'm going to get the financing from. The financing's already been approved from my UK bank, well, US bank in the UK, and uh, but I'll possibly get it here and make the process a lot quicker if they can beat the APR and the convenience of the bank that I have in the UK, but we'll see. <clears throat> but anyway, stay tuned. Today's going to be interesting to see how we end. I don't know what I'm going to go home with. I'm definitely going home with my mom's car because I can't leave that here, obviously. But I may go home with uh, with knowing that I get the Jeep next week or it may be eight weeks. Who knows? Stay tuned. We'll figure it out. So I just got word back from the dealership and the bank and... Well, we got some good news. But first, Chris took me around their test track in this uh, Wrangler JLU, and it's one of their builds they do here. It's got 37s on it and the AEV lift, and it was awesome. So check this out. This test track's a lot of fun.
So as you can tell, we had a blast out there. That little track has got a lot going on, and it's uh, it's really cool to see what these things are capable of. Even I know it's controlled terrain, but the hill and stuff is just amazing. So it's a lot of fun. Glad it's here. But the important stuff. So Chris was able to find me a diesel Sarge Green Jeep with the saddle interior that I wanted. The only thing I had to sacrifice was the front camera. But after talking with Alex at Buzz Special Vehicles, he said, well, when you do the taser option, you're probably gonna put a different camera on there anyway. So yes, I wanted to get that front camera added to it, but it was gonna be 12 weeks waiting for that to get here. And uh, the camera's an extra, I think it was 700 bucks or something. So I saved that for now. Um, again, I'll be building it up over the next two or three years to get it ready to hit the road. So I don't really need it right away. I know it does, it's not excuses, I'm not making excuses. But I did get some stuff that I didn't want and some, um, I wouldn't call it a bonus because I didn't really want it, but I got color match fenders. So they're gonna be the Sarge green that the rest of the Jeep is. It does have a black hard top, which is exactly what I wanted, but I wanted a soft top too. It doesn't come with that. Uh, other things it came with, uh, it came with a, a trail kit, which I have already for the axe, the axe bomb at home. So, okay, cool, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I can't remember, but I'm excited. So I should have it within two weeks. So we're gonna start the adventure very soon, and we're gonna have the Axicon started a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be, so I am stoked. I just got to get a hold of my bank uh, on base in the UK, have them send the money over here. They have to get a hold of the dealer that has the Jeep and get it here, and then we're done. So that's it. Call the insurance company tomorrow, today maybe, tomorrow, and uh, and get it all lined up, and we're good. So. The Axicon's coming. Thank you all so much for staying with me throughout the day and checking out this awesome dealership. There's so many Jeeps here. Highly suggest Chris or Matt here at uh, Cross Chrysler and Jeep in Louisville, Kentucky. Highly suggested from my friend, uh, Rebecca. Check her out at Beck1976 on Instagram. She's got a two-door Mojito Jeep. Uh, you may have seen her on the channel before. I did a walk around of her Jeep with her, and she's actually today, she's out climbing things with her Jeep, having a good time. I'll be joining you soon, hopefully. But anyway, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Make sure you click like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Instagram and the Facebook too. And uh, hey, we'll see you out there.